Vivarium is written and directed by Lorcan Finnegan, and it stars Jesse Eisenberg and Imogen Poots. Not gonna make fun of her name, because I'm sure she's gotten plenty of that throughout her entire life. So before I talk about this film, I wanna let you guys know that tomorrow I'm going to be watching and reviewing Possession. I am incredibly excited to watch Possession. Honestly, out of every film that people have requested for me to review, I think Possession is either the top most requested or it's near the damn top. And um, I just heard so many great things about it, and I can't wait to watch that film and to give you guys my thoughts on it. So there's that on that. But like I said, the film that we're talking about today is Vivarium. And honestly, I've gotten a few requests on this. Um, it's a fairly recent film. Uh, the date on IMDb says that it came out in 2019. I haven't heard shit about it. I don't know if it just got released like last month or something like that. But lately, I've been hearing about this film on different forums and from friends. So I decided, why not? I'll give it a shot. And I'm going to be honest here, guys. This film was quite a frustrating watch because I feel like this film had potential if it was given into the right hands. A lot of this film's potential uh, was unfortunately squandered. Um, now, just to pedal back a little bit, I'm not saying that this film was bad. Um, it's not an awful film or anything. It's actually quite an intriguing film. And um, it is somewhat engaging throughout its runtime, but um, there's just a lot of things about this film um, that certainly bugged me. But I guess before I get into the negatives, let me just say a few things that I did appreciate about it. Um, I really appreciated that this film was trying to do something that felt fresh, uh, that felt, you know, at least more or less original. Um, it doesn't feel like it was trying to just kind of like steal something that's already been done before like over and over again. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of films that, you know, have done this concept a lot, but at least it was going for, again, a more or less original concept. And I do appreciate this film for that. And um, I also appreciate um, the kind of imagery that this film tries to provide. Um, uh, you know, I don't think all of it worked because some of that has to do with some of the CGI effects that I don't think were fully convincing here and there. But I liked the effort. Like, I really appreciated the effort um, of the film's concept and what it was trying to do. And um, we do get a few good scenes out of this film. Like, I think there are at least, like, two or three um, effective scenes that I thought, you know, really, really worked. And a lot of that was, you know, thanks to just moments of great acting, um, you know, just great conceptual writing and decent direction. And I also liked the fact that uh, the film was a bit unforgiving with um, trying to provide answers for what actually is happening. Like, the actual narrative answers of this whole, like, trippy, horrific scenario that's happening. And I like that. You know, I like that the film at least kept a decent chunk of that ambiguous. And, you know, I'll, I'll give it some credit in terms of that aspect of the film. Um, but, you know, I guess we can go on to the negatives here. There are some things about the film... Um, in terms of theme, that, like, it just felt incredibly on the nose, um, really obvious for what it was going for, like, incredibly apparent from the get-go, and, um, like, pretty much what you get out of this, out of this entire film, at least for me, like, you basically get within, like, the first 30 to 45 minutes, and honestly, I think this film would have been a lot stronger if it was just a more consolidated, condensed short film. Um, I think that would have been a much more effective work, but instead it feels a bit drawn out, it gets a bit too uh, repetitive, and I think that the fact that it's repetitive, it's it's on purpose, like I get what they're going for. I, I totally get what this film is going for on pretty much every aspect of its theme. I get that it's trying to make a point about uh, suburban America and just the overall American lifestyle, and especially in American suburbia. Um, it can really rob human beings of real identity and original identity and just overall rob them of an actual quality life. And um, I get that it's also trying to contrast with uh, making people appreciate the more chaotic, uh, random aspect of nature. Um, even though it's not all the way pretty, at least it's not, you know, at least it's not fake and fraudulent like the way that uh, suburban American can be. But again, like, everything I just said, like, that stuff, I feel like, is conveyed to you in the first 45 minutes, and the rest, I felt like, you know, it's trying to build up to some, 
narrative climax and it relies a lot on the ending twist which is something that you can see come from a mile away and that's another negative about this film is that you can see the conflict come from a mile away you can see the conclusion come from a mile away you can see uh like the demise of certain characters coming from a mile away and for a heavy conceptual film like this i think that's you know a huge negative because for with these with these kinds of films you kind of want something that is really difficult to predict and i feel like this film didn't really provide that and there's also a giant gaping plot convenience in this film that really bothered me and it, it you know for those who watch my channel y'all know that plot conveniences isn't really anything that i really you know count against all that much like i'm willing to look over stuff like that as long as you know all the other aspects of filmmaking are coming together but with this film it was just too obvious and it serves as like the center point of the entire conflict and it's really hard to ignore. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Why don't they have phones? Like, it's never addressed at all in the entire film of as to why nobody has a phone. And that's just really, really weird. Like, they couldn't have at least done the kind of cliche thing. It's like, oh, we don't have any signal. Oh, the GPS isn't working. Like, do something like that. But the film just, they don't have phones. Like, for some reason, this modern couple does not have a cell phone. And it's not even brought up a single time. And it's just like that's really awkward like did they really not think about this aspect of the script or did they just think that no one would notice i don't know but that's something that actually really really bothered me because it's kind of a huge plot convenience as to why they are stuck in this huge conflict in the film and um i found it quite bothersome again this film ain't awful or anything i think this film has again a nice handful of decent scenes um i like kind of the, the third act of this film where it got, you know, they played a lot with lighting and it got really surreal. And, you know, again, I th this was in the hands of someone like David Lynch. Like this feel like David Lynch would have just went to town on this concept and he would have just created something incredibly memorable, incredibly trippy, surreal and thematic and just really, um, he would have created just a mind fuck of a film. And this film just felt really bland for a really heavy concept and um it was it was kind of a bummer but when it's all said and done i'll give vivarium an incredibly generous five out of ten so i know for a fact that there were a few people in the comment section that actually requested me to watch this film so i definitely hope y'all are watching this and i want to see what y'all think about this film overall because i'm not even sure if you really liked it or if you just wanted to hear my thoughts on it i definitely want to hear your thoughts on it if you liked it let me know everything about it that you liked and um yeah just and overall i want to hear everybody's thoughts on this but definitely those who wanted me to watch this film and give my thoughts on it but remember guys tomorrow possession it's finally gonna happen and i couldn't be more happier right now to tell you that i'm actually gonna watch it and give you guys my thoughts on it so Stay tuned for that tomorrow. But those are my thoughts on Vivarium. Uh, if you really enjoyed what I had to say about the film, please give this video a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more film-related content. Yeah.